The crusade to keep fake news out of circulation and the reach of Filipinos is paramount on the president's working agenda. And as the president made it crystal clear yet again, there is absolutely no space and place for fake news in a country where facts, truth and the rule of law reign supreme. PTV correspondent Menelas Moras has more. No classes is posted but found out to be untrue or claims about a person's death who is in fact alive and kicking. These were just some of the examples of fake news being shared on social media which the government wants to eliminate. With this, President Ferdinand R. Marcus Jr. has this message to the Filipino people. Fake news should have no place in modern society. And as part of our efforts, we will undertake a media and information literacy campaign which shall be digital, multimedia, and youth-oriented. The chief executive stated this during the opening ceremony of the 14th edition of the International Conference of Information Commissioners held earlier today in Pasay City. The ICIC is a global network connecting commissioners, ombudsmen, and other bodies overseeing the implementation of access to public information, legislation, and policies across the globe. This year, the Philippines hosted the event, particularly the Presidential Communications Office, through its Freedom of Information Program Management office. During his speech, President Marcos said the Philippines stands in solidarity with the ICIC and the entire international community in advocating for people's right to information. As a nation with a robust democracy, we reaffirm our commitment to champion this basic human right. It remains indelibly etched in our fundamental law. We value its potency to empower our people to make informed decisions to participate fully in the democratic process and hold the representatives accountable without fear or apprehension. Under his administration, the chief executive assured each and everyone that he will continue pushing for measures to further expand the government's information dissemination campaign. He also called on the other branches of government to uphold the people's freedom of information while also pushing for streamlining and digitalization in the country. Beyond this event, the ICIC can be assured that the Philippines will continue to promote freedom of information. With a whole-of-nation approach, we will strive to maintain a government that is not only effective and efficient, but also transparent and accountable to our people. Melales Moras for the Nation.